scan. What is it? PET scan, positron emission tomography. So it's the scan of the body where you have emission of gamma ray from a radio tracer. So what are the principles of PET scan? The main principle is that whenever there is a metabolically active tumor or a cancer, this high metabolic activity can be judged from a radio tracer. So what do we do? We inject the patient with F18 FDG or fluorodeoxyglucose, which is a radio tracer, and uh, this will be taken preferentially by the tumor because it has high metabolic activity. So there will be increased uptake and this radio tracer will be phosphorylated inside the cell, I mean the tumor cell, and will be trapped inside the tumor. And then it will emit the gamma ray. This gamma ray is reconstructed as a 3D image and oftentimes it's integrated with CT scan for better anatomy, which we call the PET CT scan. Okay, so what are the uses? The main uses are in cancer, inflammatory disorders, cardiac disorder, and brain disorders. The cancers, it helps us to differentiate between the benign and malignant. The most importantly, it helps to determine the level or extent of metastasis. We can also use it to see the treatment response. The common cancers that uh, utilizes this um, procedure is lung, colon, lymphoma, even other cancers. Inflammatory disorders such as sarcoidosis, it helps us to identify the extrapulmonary manifestations of sarcoidosis, Janssen arteritis. Uh, in cardiac disorders, oftentimes there is something called hibernating myocardium, and this can be identified with the PET scan. In cerebral disorders, you can identify the different disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, epilepsy evaluation, and you can also use stroke evaluation uh, procedure. Now, you can also use PET scan as a stroke evaluation procedure. So what are the limitations? The most important limitation is the cost because it's very high cost, it's technically difficult. And the low half-life of FDG PET means the timing of the patient testing should be very strict. And it also interfered by the body fat and uh, interfered by the blood glucose level of the patient.